question number 65 and this question again was from uh, physical geography the uh, topic that would be interiors of earth from geomorphology and this question talks about the seismic waves so seismology is used to study the interiors of earth and for this purpose body waves are used now body waves are those seismic waves which passes or travels through the interiors of the earth and so are called as body waves. So overall if we see uh, in the case of an earthquake, in the case of earthquake uh, from the focus of the uh, earthquake, the waves can emanate and travel something like this and reaching on the surface from here a different set of waves arises which travels like this. So in the case, these waves are called as the body waves and these waves are called as surface waves. And as the body waves travel through the interior of the earth, these waves are used to study the interiors of earth. And this is where we use seismology to study the interiors of earth. So body waves are now of two types. These body waves are of two types. The first which are called as P waves or primary waves and the second one called as S waves which are secondary waves. Now this topic has been covered in 11th standard NCRT Fundamentals of Physical Geography and you will find this topic very clearly in chapter 3 that is interiors of earth where they have talked about the earthquake waves. So P waves, S waves, basic differences if we see over here, these are called as primary waves. The reason is because they travel fast. So these are fast, these are slow relatively and so these are the waves which reach first on the surface from the focus and that's why primary waves. Secondary waves reaches after some time lag, that's why the name secondary waves. So primary, secondary, first difference. Second basic difference between P and S waves that we see is mainly that the P waves are longitudinal in nature, whereas S waves are transverse in nature. And the third difference that we see between these two waves is where P waves can pass through all the mediums. Whereas S waves can pass only through solids. So these are three basic differences. Now, based on this, now if we try to figure out the uh, question, first statement in a seismograph, P waves are recorded earlier than S waves. Yes, based on this particular statement, this particular difference that P waves are faster, primary waves, they reach first, they are recorded earlier. Definitely this statement becomes correct statement. The second statement in P waves, the individual particles vibrate to and fro. Whereas in this case, the particle vibration up and down. This is where the second difference will come in handy. P waves are longitudinal, S waves are transverse. Now longitudinal waves are those waves in which the particle vibration is like this. If I take direction of propagation to be here. One good example can be sound waves. Sound waves are longitudinal waves and in sound waves the particle vibrates parallel to the direction of propagation. This is what we mean by to and fro. Whereas in case of transverse waves, if this is the direction of propagation, the vibration of particle takes place in this pattern, which means the vibration of particle is perpendicular to the direction of propagation up and down, to and fro. So P waves, to and fro, S waves, up and down. So now if I take a look at this statement in P waves, the individual particles vibrate to and fro, particles to and fro, yes absolutely correct, in the direction of wave propagation, whereas S waves, the particles vibrate up and down which is the property of transverse waves. So yes, this also becomes
correct at right angles to the direction of wave wave propagation so this is statement also we find to be correct and so our answer for this question would be c that is both 1 and 2